Remember 2021's Mortal Kombat? It went to theaters and HBO Max in tandem. Now, as I've covered a time or two in the past on this channel, just because a movie gets watched a lot, doesn't mean it's good. Just because it makes a lot of money, doesn't mean it's good. It sounds like Mortal Kombat 2021 did both of those things, and it's also not good. So how does Hollywood respond? Let's make a sequel! Details of this sequel are scarce at best, we know very little. All that's certain is that New Line Cinema is in fact going forward with Mortal Kombat 2. They also got themselves the head writer from Moon Knight. He's doing this. I, I guess I can't really speak to his skills yet because Moon Knight's not even out. All I can say is good luck writer Jeremy Slater. The bar has been set very high for you. Because as we all know, the first film script was a brilliant achievement. Marrying video game and movie together as one. Creating something the likes of which we have never seen before. The perfect video game movie is what I can't imagine a single viewer said about the first one. Even people that genuinely liked it, I would assume were like, yeah, I mean, it had cool action, there were some problems, but I'm good for a sequel, I'm all in. And that's fine, I'm happy for you, I'm happy uh, you like shit. Here's some advice from one non-writer to another. How about have an actual Mortal Kombat this time, a tournament, and not just allude to one in the distant future? That way you can show a bunch of video game fan favorites without having to go into detail about them. They can just show up for a couple minute fight, get taken out, and we move on with our lives. Instead of having to build backstories for like 15 characters on the fly. I'm a movie guy, more than a TV show fan, so more times than not, I'm going to wish for a movie over a TV series. That said, Mortal Kombat is one of the few instances, and I know they had a web series in the past, I think it was Maybe by the same director? I could look it up, but it's better to just guess wrong and look like a complete jackass online than to take the five seconds to look it up. Anyway, I believe there was a web series in the past, but this show is ripe for a TV series. HBO Max, just give them that. Give them a few solid seasons. We can build up the roster because these games have so many incredible characters. I I'd like to see them properly introduced and utilized which is not going to happen in a two-hour experience, I can tell you that much. Unless they do really focus on one or two characters and then just have backgrounds for tips of the hat, which is what they should do. In the first Mortal Kombat, I mean, the marketing was basically like, look, it's Scorpion versus Sub-Zero. And it wasn't. But it should have been Scorpion versus Sub-Zero because the first eight minutes or so were awesome. That's what fans wanted. And then we go two hours into the final fight where they show up again, and that was awesome! But where were they for the rest of the movie? MIA. And so we got Cole. And I'm not gonna get back into this. If you wanna hear me bitch about Mortal Kombat, I have a couple videos on the channel. HBO Max did it wrong. They should have had The Last of Us be the movie and Mortal Kombat be the TV series. Instead, we have Joel and Ellie on the small screen for I don't know how many episodes, but. Shit, that movie's been told a couple times over already, and they were both really good. The Road, based on the awesome book, came out years ago, and that reminded me of Ellie and Joel's dynamic. Then you have Logan, which also has that father-daughter dynamic that's really brought out in The Last of Us, so... This is a story that could have been told in a couple hours, so I'm not really sure why they feel the need to milk it, but we'll see what they come up with. I'm just saying, I would have preferred things to be flip-flopped. MK gets the series, Last of Us gets the movie. I'm just not excited for this at all. I did not like that first movie, and I really wanted to. Do I think this has the opportunity to be good? Yeah. Do I think it will be? No. That doesn't mean there isn't hope somewhere out there for some little one. And here's what I think they need to do. As I stated previously, just focus on one or two characters. Leave the rest of them. Leave the reptiles and the Ermax and the Reigns and the Shivas and the Sindels. Keep them in the background, okay? Have, have them do little things, tip the hat, wink to the gamers, throw them in a ring for a fight and just be done because we don't have a TV show. We have two hours, so give us a really tight storyline. I really like the first Mortal Kombat, the cheesy one back in the 90s. It hasn't aged well. It's still fun though, because it did focus on a core cast of like three or four people. They tried to do that with the last attempt, but it became just a hodgepodge, a nightmare of characters just showing up randomly and, and there was just too much going on, yet 
nothing going on at the same time. It was incredible. Have a focus storyline, have a focus beginning, middle, and end, and we can get through this thing unscathed for the most part. Keep the action ramped up though. That was one of the highlights of the first, was it had some really cool combat. So really push the envelope on the fighting, give us some cool fatalities again, throw in a brutality maybe just for fun. If they could find a way to pull off a bay ballady, I would give them a standing ovation. Ideally, and this is no disrespect to the actor, but Cole would be killed in the first couple minutes of this film. Really set the bar, really set the stakes for the event to come. And also because Cole sucks, so let's just get rid of him. Get Johnny Cage in there and, and do the do the whole Johnny Cage Sonya thing, the, the the lovers quarrel dynamic. That would be that would be solid. Okay, so who's super pumped for another Mortal Kombat movie? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't. I do a lot of movie conversation here every single week, and hopefully I'll see you around. Dun, 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 Don't forget to also join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or become a member right here on YouTube via that join button. It's, it's easy, it's right at your fingertips. Give a dollar, four dollars, and say, Adam, I like what you're doing, keep it up. That would truly be the ultimate friendship. Huh? Another, another wink to the series.